Good evening, everyone. We're here at Dwyer Field from Atrium, Atrium Stadium, where Cole Lane comes in to face Mason. Mike Crowdy, Steve Parker here. We're going to bring you all the action. Here in our free game, though, Mike, we've got the number one and number 15 to the region board. Yeah, it should be a good battle. Cole Rain is by far the prohibitive favorite here tonight. Number one team from the state. They've only given up nine points in four conference games. It's going to be a tall task for the Comets to compete tonight. Comets and uh, Cole Rain both boasting the number one and number two rushers in the league. Coach Bolden's teams are always tough, but Coach Kastner, this is what they've been building for. Somebody to go up and knock Cole Rain off of the GMC Hill, right, Coach? Yep. They have they have an opportunity here. They they got to keep Cole Rain's offense on the sideline. So they got to get the running game going, and they got to take a couple of their chances, three or four chances down the field sooner or later. Here's what I really like, Mike, is Cole Rain still running that triple option like they have been for every year. They're lining up, and they're saying, we're going to run this at you. Come get us. So, folks, sit back, relax, grab a cool beverage. Mike and I will bring you all the action here from Dwyer Field. It's the number one team in the state. Cole Rain visits Mason in this GMC matchup here on ICRC Sports. Friday Night Football. Man, you guys have pushed your tails off. You've earned this night. You've earned this opportunity. Kick it off for the Mason Comets. I didn't catch that, Mike. Did, did the Comets win it and then decline it? Or? Yep, they deferred. Second half. Oh, on the ground. Oh, that's straight there. Somebody's going to wrap the field. Didn't get the high bounce. Oh, and that's, that's Mr. Bolden. That's Luke Bolden, number seven, grabbing that ball. Coach's son. Great strike position. I think they wanted to kick that back a little bit farther than that. They're going to start throwing about 40, 47 yard line. Um, and again, it, to me, it's critical. Corain's the number one team in the state, like, like we said before. Mason's defense has got to, can't give up the big plays. Deontay Smith Moore, Mike, is the guy that, that starts this option machine for Corain. He'll be at quarterback. Yep. He, five, five foot nine inch senior. Yeah, unbelievable. He's leading the big 21 yards to pass on, on receptions. He's only has one uh, interception, 11 touchdown passes, but really his legs. He's unbelievable to watch. Ivan Pace Jr. behind him, and the man in motion cuts inside and looks like he's going to go for the distance. Sincere Jones, Mike, came in motion on a Jeff Sweet, cut it inside, and that quickly, the mighty, mighty Cardinals are on the board. Well, like you said, they're, they're, I think they're all concentrated on the quarterback, and Mason comes out, just, that's the worst start you can possibly get in mind, getting behind this team. Uh, first play of the game, a touchdown run. Just explosive players. Corain, Coach Bolden has said this might be one of his, if not best team, the best teams of, he's ever coached here, which says a lot. Chris Mangold, number 80, in for the kick. Senior. Holds down. Kick up, and the kick is good. And that quick, Mike, we've got a total of 16 seconds gone. Cole Rain already up. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I think that's the quickest uh, high, of all the high school games we've done, ever done before. I don't know if we've scored you know, maybe once or twice uh, before, but that was quick, explosive. Again, they have so much depth and talent over there on the offensive side for Cole Rain. 
But the bad news is for the Cowboys, they got to come out on offense themselves. And like I said before, Coleraine has only given up nine points in four games in league play. They're just they're, they're, they're just dominating this year. Uh, and, and people think they are the best team in the state right now. Look how well, you, we got the end of it. But again, he cut it up. We got, the guy had made him cut him up. But there was just nobody back there for pursuit. So he goes in there untouched. So now Mangold going to kick it off. David Rue and Nolan McCormick back to return his kick for the Mason Comets. Again, it's going to be really important for the Mason Comet offense. They've been talking to Coach Kastner early in the week. He, was, he said they've, they've had some big plays. They just hadn't been consistent enough. And Corain's going to make them throw the ball because I'm, I'm going to tell you what, they're going to, they're going to jam the box with seven, eight guys and make, make them throw. Mangle, well, they're, going to, they're going to do their pooch kick. He's out of bounds. That's good. I still like the way the Mason player, was, that's a very smart at number 81. He was fair catching it anyhow, even though it went out of bounds. Yeah, capital move indeed. Might go ahead and call for that fair, that fair catch. So Comets are going to start it off now, first and 10. I believe they're going to mark it at the out of bounds mark at the 30. Or are they going to move it up to the 35? Well, they're, they're talking about it. Was he out of bounds when, when it went out of bounds, or did the player touch it before it went out of bounds? And, and drag it out with him, right. And then that would be a penalty if, if not. Yep. So they're just going to add it to the play, most likely. So probably started off from the 35 yard line. They're asking Coach Castro, you can look to re kick it. I don't. I just move it up five yards. Let's talk a little bit about. The starters for Coleraine, Micah, along the front, they've got uh, on the defensive side. Ivan Pace Jr. is running it at an outside linebacker, Mason Hill, at a defensive tackle. The nose is Dente Corleone. Donovan Owens is at defensive tackle, and Eric Phillips is at the other outside linebacker. At the mic, they've got Mike Bass, and Luke Bolden plays the will of the week. And Sincere Jones... Number one, the guy that scored that touchdown, they got him working at a corner. Deshaun Pace is working at strong safety. Jakari Patterson and Alonto Kendricks are the other defensive backs. Colin Brown with a good handoff man. inside. Logan Dalton bounced around a little bit. He does a good job of getting out there and working a, a, for a tough, tough three yards to set up second and seven. Yeah, but the comments have been very, very good this year on running the football. A couple of passing plays, but but for the for what they've done this year, the running game has been overall very very effective for the Comets. Nick Niehoff and Alec Dardis, closest to the Mason sideline. Brown with Dalton next to him, barking out the signals. He sends Dardis in motion. Inside handoff to Logan Dalton bounces off of a few guys, lunges forward, gets. Over the 40, knocked down about the 42-yard line. That's going to set up a second and a long two and a half, Mike. Yeah, right up the middle. Nothing fancy, but, they, but again, like I said before, they got to keep Corey's offense on the side. Critical. Critical. Logan Dalton with a couple of jug, jump cuts just to get away from a couple of defenders that were lunging at him. So power eye here. So, so this, this is why, again, I talked all year, partner. Nice hard count, see if they can get Coleraine to jump. Michael Warwick in at fullback. And they were jumping almost. He got Warwick it. takes it himself, follows that big offensive line up through the middle. Good job of running that thing through. As they're up, stop just shy of midfield, and that's good enough for the first comet first down. Signals. Fakes that inside handoff, no and look time. at that defensive rush. No time. Ivan Pace Jr. in there on him early. Can't, you 
got to get rid of the ball quick. But again, there's, uh, for the quarterback, uh, you got to eat that football. And that's what you don't know. You don't want to be second along against yeah. this defense. Second and 16 from the common home, 44. Brown, handoff. That's McCormick back in there now. Is that it's the first time we've seen him run tonight. He finds the sled and tough as he leans forward for about a yard, sets up a third and 15. Ivan Pace Jr. again on the stop. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt if you see a quick receiver screen on this or something like that. A draw, quick receiver screen. But again, sooner or later, you're going to have to take the chances downfield. So he's got trips right. Yeah, two deep zone, got two safeties in the middle of the field. They're just going to... Niehoff, looks like he's going to get single coverage up on top. One, two, three, he'll get rid of it. Two, just... Interceptor. Nice job of coming up and getting his hands underneath that by number three, Jakari Patterson. But here's a prop. That play, the wide receiver was open. It was just a high throw. He kind of looked like he got happy feet in the pocket there a little bit, quite frankly, and overthrew the wide receiver. And then he tipped it a little bit and tipped the ball in the air, and Coleraine just put a two, played a two-deep zone. All they did was go get it there. I mean, he was open right in the middle. Look at him, right in the middle. He's open right there. That's open receiver. You got to hit that. He was getting rushed, though, unmercifully, yep. Mike, as you saw that there was a, not just one or two guys breaking through. I mean, that pocket was collapsing on him hard. So Cardinals take over. Deontay Smith Moore with Ivan Pace Jr. right behind him. Late flip. He's gone again. And again. streaking down the sidelines. Into the end zone. I mean, that's just, I, admit, I thought the defense was quite common. I mean, two plays, uh, that was a 60 yard run on that one. Uh, just too easy. J.J. Davis, the senior at that time. So they got plenty of weapons, folks. With 8.16 to go, they're looking to add their 14th point. Yeah, that's just tough. Thomas got to figure that out a little bit on the defensive side. The problem is if you, you commit all your guys to the line of scrimmage, they can throw the ball deep. The 12 men in the huddle. It's a penalty. And they, got, they got them off. Kick is up, and the kick is good. So that quickly, Mike, 14 to nothing. See, someone's supposed to have the pitch man, someone's going to have the quarterback. He's late, and usually the pitch, the, the running back, is usually done by a safety or a cornerback. And, and again, that, they're just showing their athleticism. And, and uh, <laughs> Mason has a big home crowd tonight being the homecoming game, but it's they're awful quiet right now. Well, I mean, two plays, two scores. And we slowed him down a little bit with a first down, but. Well, that's what I said. It's a work for turning their Colorado defense is off the good. So let's see what the commons do. You got to, this is a learning experience. People weren't, I don't think, any delusion that they were going to come in and beat the uh, number one team in the state, but you want to see your team make them work a little harder than that, I think. Well, I mean, you know, Colorado, Mike, for the last 20 years, has been the team with the target on its back here in the GMC. Yeah. And, you know, they got to come all the way across town over here on homecoming night for Mason. And let's face it, Coach Brian Caster, he tries to prepare his team for big games like this. Yeah, they've been very successful. You know, they've had a good year so far, but it's, uh, this, 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 this is the big time. This is when people want it, people to show up. So a short kick by Mango. Jack Franke picks it up. At about the 20, he leans forward and gets knocked off his feet at about the 23, where the Comets will take over with 8.11 to go here in the first quarter. Okay, so Mike, so you're down quick. Down quick, 14 to zip. You got to think, we got to start sustaining some. Let's see what the Comets come out here with. There. There's the Harbin rankings, Mike, and you see that Colerain is one, and Mason themselves are number two, but, yeah. but Colerain's got a lot of points. They've beaten a lot of uh, really, really good teams, and they're facing one right now. They'll get a lot of points for this oh, one. Absolutely. It's, it's a, 
everybody's projecting them to be the number one at the end of there's a Brown swings it outside, however. Gonna get defense. Oh no, offsides on Mason. No, you pointed the off Mason's defense. Okay, so let's just uh take a peek here and see what we got. David Rue was looking to catch that pass on a swing pass, Mike, but again, they just couldn't get it out to him. Yeah, I think it was, it's going to be, you, you, you're going to keep the ball on the ground. But, again, you still got to take your chance because look, they got people, they got eight guys, five yards. But there's Logan Dalton nice with a nice run. lean forward. He gets knocked down just shy of the first down as he crosses the 30. And we're looking at a third down and, and they have one and a half, two yards. I think second down because they had a penalty. Just second down okay, too. Second so. down. Going, Mr. Bolden on the Mr. Mr. Bolden on the tackle again. Watch his number seven. I think is is he committed to Cincinnati or he committed somewhere else already? I think he's already committed to Miami. Miami. I'm sorry. All right, thank you. you want to make that short drive from the home from the home field. I got some good players going there now. And second and two. Yeah. Inside handoff. That's a good job by the fullback. A squeaking through there. That's. Oh, that's Orlando in there yeah. now. Okay. Very nice run right at the middle. Exceptional run, Mike. Exceptional run. I, what I like is a quick hitter. And it, yeah, leaned it in real quick. Knocked it off. So the Comets with a first down, working from their own 37. Brown. Again, that's an inside handoff, number 48. We're gonna, grinding we're, that thing through there. Yeah, the, what they're doing is they're staying on the block pretty good so the guys can't tackle the running back, but the running backs are doing good. They're getting hit. And, and so, so again, three or four yards uh, of carry is an excellent thing for them. You've got to stay within your game plan. And uh, I, I think the Comets you know, can come in and they feel like they can run the ball on anybody, and they're trying to... Uh, Step it up here. Brown on second and six. Logan Dalton, boy, he as soon as he got that yeah. handoff, Mike, he had a guy hanging on yeah, him. Yeah, 63 for, uh, it looks like 63 here up, up from up here from Coleraine. And I can't identify if he came from a tackle spot or a linebacker spot, but he, he, he busted in the gap. You're exactly right, partner, on that quickly. Yeah, and that's Mason Hill. I believe that's number 53. 53, thank you. Yeah, he's playing that from a defensive tackle slot. So, boy, that's a great reaction to scraping off one of the bigger guards and getting in there. Sets up a third and about four. Just shy of the 45, we'll call it the 43-yard line. Brown. Look at all the guys there. Eight guys. Quick pass. And he throws a quick out to Dardis. Good job by Alec Dardis. What I really like, Mike, is Alec catch that ball with his hands. No, he, he got his hands out in front of him. And the other thing, when he's coming out of his break, the quarterback, Brown, was already releasing the football. So that's that's a very good uh, pat, uh, catch and pass on that one. Yeah, pitch and catch. Right at midfield now, so the Comets were just under six minutes to go here in the first quarter. Mounting it, looks like they're getting ready to mount a decent drive. Hopefully. And they're going to run blitz. They're going to keep on bringing the blitz. Inside handoff. See, and, and, and that's where the quarterback, I don't know if that, that, that was just the player. He could have read that, but everybody's just biting down on the middle of the field right now. We've got the pass play here, the previous pass play. Watch this, a little five yard. Watch him do the out. The cornerback keeps on giving them. You know, that's a run right there. Sorry. But again, the, the, too many people in there. The, the white shirts are jamming up the middle now, so sooner or later you're going to try to get one outside. But the, with the speed of Corain, that's going to be tough to do. But So Brown from midfield, or just over it, second and nine. Oh my. Brown fakes it and gets dumped by Ivis Pace Jr. back behind his own 40-yard line. Mike... The play fake didn't fa fool Ivan Pace at all. No, they're just coming, like I said, untouched. They got too many, they can't block on, on the line. So so the, the fake of the run and stuff is not doing it, any any factors at all, quite frankly. I mean, just watch him. He, he comes in unblocked. 
Look at this. He's unblocked. And look, it's too, too late. They're, they're trying to do a quick hitter. The, the running back's going in the flat, but it, it, the, the poor quarterback has no time, like you said before, Steve. Yeah, but he, he, he didn't even have time to think. That, was, that handoff was so quick. So that sets up a huge third down, third and 16 from their own 44. And Coach Castor wants to think about it. Not a bad move, Mike. Got to try to... Well, to it, come up with some something that he, come, he tells his coaches, come up with your third and 17 for me. What do you have? And, and the court, court quarterbacks had no time. Uh, so so in, in my book, when they were playing too deep back there, you might see, get a quick crossing pattern again and get some, you want something positive here. You don't even get the first get, get another five or 10 yards down there and give your chance for your punter to get at least them down in the territory here. But it's been a dominating performance from Coleraine's offense on two plays, two touchdowns. But Mason, let's give them some props here. They're running the ball fairly effective, uh, but every time they tried to pass, except for the one completion of Dardis, the quarterback's been harassed uh, all night so far. Yeah, so, I mean, would they have time for a crossing pattern? I don't know. I, 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 I mean, because Ivan Pace Jr. came in, you know. It's a you got to be in the shotgun and take two steps back and get rid of the ball. I'm thinking maybe a screen here just to set it up where they can try to pin Colerain back. If they don't get it. This is more man to man now though. One, two, three, get there's a there's a draw. Yeah, That's a nice, nice draw. McCormick a face mask. McCormick following from behind. I don't know if they got that face mask call or Maybe not. It, it, I just saw his helmet go directly down like somebody yanked it. But again, that's a positive play. You just don't want third. And, you gotta stay out of the second and longs and third yeah, and longs. McCormick's, obviously. McCormick's complaining about it. Yeah. And they're gonna be just shy of the 50. So again, the punting unit looks like they're coming on. I don't know if we have that or not. He's looking. I mean, it looked like. We'll see at the end here. Watch it. Watch. Watch this. Somebody grabs him when he gets in the pile here. Maybe it's his own player. Watch this right here, right there. His helmet went down, and I can't. Again, you can't tell yeah, the referee. Was, There's a lot of people there. You yeah, don't know. That was a fist, though, Mike. It looked like up in his face mask, and he came out rubbing his eyes. So right again. Logan Dalton back to punt for the Comets. High snap, he gets it, gets it off, bounces near the corner, and it's scooped up. Oh, that's in the back. By Sincere. That's good special teams, and it looked like that. Well, it's not in the back. He felt that was a clean block. Sincere Jones, though, Mike, I thought he was going to round it. He's a coach. Castor was giving it to the referee there. He's saying the same thing I saw from up here. That was. It looked like it was in the back. So there's two of them that were missed. But Cole Rain's going to take over, Mike, and with uh, you know decent starting position for the comments is they're going to mark it just shy of the 17-yard uh, line, or I'm sorry, just shy of the 18. And again, what they're doing, I don't know. Mason looks like they're really spread out. I don't know why they're. Protecting the, the wings, but they got to get some penetration up the middle. There's that flip back to the halfback. Good job around in that corner. And that's JJ Davis again, Mike. He just gets around that edge and he almost broke another one. So that quickly, they, he puts up about a 18 yarder. They're going to set up about the 33 yard line. Yeah, at, at Colerain's at their own 32 now. So just he ripped tough. off a nice 14-yarder. Yeah. He just, Mason just, there's a lot of reads on the defensive side when they're this much moving. It just looks like they're a little tentative. We've seen them before, don't you think? They just look a little tentative. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right at the Moore middle. With the inside handoff that time, Ivan Pace Jr., who drags a couple of would-be Comet tacklers with him. But, you know, <laughs> That's, that's a five-yard run when Charlie Sipes knocks him down, but, I mean, he got almost five on that one. So that'll set up second and six. Just under three minutes to go here in the first quarter. So Smith Moore settles up behind the center. Davis in oh, motion. Fumble. Pace we inside. Oh, fumble. Okay. Nope. Quarterback, they wasn't sure that's a good read. Again, what caused that was defensive, the tackle position. They got some pressure in the backfield. Yeah, that was a nice job of leaning in there by number 48 for the Comets. 
see what ha see what happens on that. Look at Chase so, Evans in there. Right up. Oh, can't see from that angle, but it's they all started diving for it then. Quarterback looked like he jumped jumped on himself. Smith Moore throws a nice out. Boy, that's a nice ball, Mike. Right, that's what I was saying. This young man, short in stature, but he, he's averaging 20, over 20 yards of reception when they do throw the ball. That was a perfect throw, an out pattern, about 17-yard out pattern. Are you kidding me? Great play. And he had time to throw. Yeah, and that was Freddie Johnson, who also plays the backup quarterback. On that move out there, great job on running a perfect pattern by Freddie. So Colerain's on the move as they're in the Comet territory at uh, Comet 48. Smith Moore under center, sends Davis in motion, keeps it himself. Good job by the Comets. Very nice. Containing him. Charles, Charlie Sipe with a good shoot there and tried to corral, yeah, Sipe, <laughs> corral him. Well, you know what? Sipe's been a heck of a player for the Comets this year in my mind. He's been the backfield. He's, he's, he's Played a lot of multiple yeah. positions, the kicker, the extra point, the field goals. Yeah, a um, lot of tight end too, yeah. Yeah, but we've, we've seen him all over the field on both sides. But every time they've got penetration to the front and they can call rain to hold the ball, that they, they've been successful. Second and 10 for the Cardinals. They're, they're leaving their wide receivers one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Outside. Davis looking for that edge. Good job of the Carmen to stretching Excellent. him out and knocking him out of bounds. Just shy of the 45-yard line. So that'll set up a big third down yeah, for the Comets as we're now at 53 seconds and counting to go here. Number in the one, first quarter. number one, number nine, number 14 for the Comets did, did a great job. Watch this. Watch them just all stay in their lanes. They kept on fanning it out to the sidelines. Look at this. Great play by the Comets. Secondary Dominic, linebackers. Dominic Negro, Michael McCalmet over there making the hits for the Comets. Yeah, you're man to man, so you don't want to give up the middle of the field. Pass, quick pass. And a nice He's down. Throw. He's down. They'll go for it, I'm sure. Yeah, nice Fourth throw. And two. Again, that's Deontay Smith Moore with it, with a, with a just delivered a nice ball. And I don't think he expected his receiver to stay on his knee, though, Mike. Nope. He, he, good throw again, but the receiver should have stood up. And he would have had it, but it's uh, going to be the end of the quarter, her partner. 14-0. It's going to give him some time at the quarter to. Coach uh, Bolden, I believe, is going to go for it on fourth and two. Hey, you know he will. So as the quarter expires, Cole Rain off to a super hot, fast start. Now Comets defense getting some traction. It's 14 to nothing at the end of the quarter. Folks, our cable cast replay times. If uh, you want to tell your friends about this one, if you want to watch the number one team, number one and two teams in the region, See how they fared. Here's our cable cast replay times. If you'll be so kind as to put that graphic up, talk a little bit about. Uh, you know, so yeah, the. Uh, there you go. There's our, our replay graphics. Uh, we're on Spectrum and Cincinnati Bell Fi Optics, channels eight and, and eight thirty eight. Yeah, the producers still suck in September, but at least the days are right. So it'll be Friday. That's tonight. That's uh, actually October the 4th, 5th. I got the 5th on my mind. Uh, the 5th. So and then Saturday the 6th. Sunday the uh, 6th. 7th. Well, no. That, that, hey. Come on. That, 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 it jumps from Wednesday to Thursday. So don't confuse me like that, part. Just check, check ICRC, the website. That's fourth down. They're going to go right up the middle. Ivan Pace Jr. drags tacklers oh with him gosh. across the 35 and then some. You got that. What what's that young man weigh? Look at his legs. I mean, he got to go 215. Yeah, they, they, listed, they listed him at the book. Mike is 235. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's just straight up. You ain't going to stop that. You got to get him low, and that's just another first down. And again, if that na name sounds familiar to some University of Cincinnati football fans over the years. His father did play a little linebacker over there. So Coleraine with another first down. They're just going to grind this one out, it looks like, Mike, after they scored the first two possessions on big plays. 
Oh, Smith Moore with a great job of working. <laughs> he had three guys around him and just spun past him. He just keeps, uh, the thing I like about the young man, he keeps his eyes downfield at all times. I mean, and they're just chasing down, and Mason's not that deep this year. They're going to get tired out. Watch these guys. Whoop. That's just. Yeah, and it takes, it takes two or three of them just to knock him off his feet. What He's, it does is it just, you know, demoralizes the defense, quite frankly. I mean, they've had a couple big runs, and they've actually, you know, had a couple good stops at Commons, but then they begin up, they can't get off the field. I'm third and fourth down. Smith Moore from the shot. Oh, look at him. It's just too easy. Soft spot in the zone, and Mike, he just, he floated a perfect pass in there. Like you said, that's his 12th touchdown pass of the year. And again, you're concentrating on the run so much, you're getting beat up so much. They got a little pop pass basically down down the middle to the tight end. Just watch the tight end. Yeah, Elijah Ford, watch. Mike. He just breaks it Nobody's clean. on him. See, nobody's on him. And um, they don't know what who's guarding him. From two, no linebackers, no safety there at all. Uh, that's easy to pitch and catch. Okay, now fair enough, Mike. Usually when Elijah Ford lines up, where he lines up is where they're typically going to run it. Because yeah. he's, he's, he's the lead blocker typically to scrape off the quarterback. Or scrape off the defensive end so the quarterback can make the read. So that time he just released and he released clean. Yeah. No doubt about it. So Coleraine with the extra point goes up 21 to nothing, Mike, here with 10.49 to go. I mean, if you're Coach Brian Castor, you got to hope you just slow this train down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's huh? what I said. Their offense is potent all year uh, and their defense is not giving up any points. So it's not, it's, it's a mix. So, you know, you got to, if you're the comments, you know, he's quick passing, five yards and out or something like that, one-on-one, -on -one, hopefully somebody breaks the tackle. But uh, actually, they've had some good positive runs, Steve, but it, every time they, they fake that run and go back to pass, he's been sacked three or four times already. Sack, And that puts him back at second and long and third and long. Sack, right. interception, exactly, oh, Mike. And again, it's, it's you know, just these small breakdowns where, you know, a guy like Ivan Pace just comes in clean and, and knocks somebody off their feet or one of those big defensive tackles shoots a gap or beats beats the one-on-one -on -one in blocking and just blasts them back. So it seems like every for every yard the Comet gains, you're right, they get knocked back too. And, and like we talked about Coach Cashman's team this year, they don't have a lot of depth. And what I mean by that is they got like a couple, few guys playing both ways and, and they're getting beat up, tired, uh, chasing quarterbacks and running backs around and then they're trying to block people on offense. So. Chris Mangold, he's going to hang up a mm -hmm. slow kick that Jack Franke picks up. Franke bounces off a few tacklers, gets up close to the 28-yard line where the Comets will take over with 10.42 to go here in the first quarter. I mean, the first half. I don't I don't know if the Comets have it uh, on this year's team, but you know, it's almost, you want to go to almost like a two-minute offense. They'll give Florey time to set up their defense every time, you know, get to the line quicker. But uh, let's see if we can get some positive things there to the fans or uh, full crowd here on the Mason side again. Uh, man, everybody, a lot of people here, they want to see Coleraine, and they're seeing the best team in the state right now. Put a whooping on uh, the comments, 21-0. Colin Brown under center now. Fakes it inside. Now he's going to step up as the pocket collapses around him, and Brown with a nice run slides down as he gets slides down at about the 43-yard line. Good enough for a Comet first down. Again, he, he, he saw an avenue there. Didn't have much time, but he didn't see anybody open, so he picked up the first down himself. Good positive play there. He did a good job. The offensive line, again, two guys are in the backfield, but this is nice. Blockers, they kept on doing it. The quarterback did a great job of of uh, get, getting a first down by running the ball. Brown operates at about his home 42. Set up in a pistol. He looks. He's going to pull it down, take it himself, lowers his pads, gets close to the, just past the uh, original line of scrimmage. We're looking at second in a long nine. Again, Luke Bolden on the stop for Cole Rain. Yeah, your talk, I saw some of their stats. He probably did too. And he uh, he's leading the team by, by a pretty good margin on leading tackler on the team. Well, Dante Corleone, Mike, at 6'1", 250 as a sophomore at the nose is creating a lot of havoc for the Comets. Yeah, they're just strong. They're pushing, pushing the offensive line back right now. So the quick hitters. Logan Dalton working off that right side. 
gets up close to the 45 yard line till he's drove, driven back by a host of Cardinal tacklers. That'll set up a second and a long six. I'm sorry, third down and about six. This is coming in, but I think Coach Kadra might have to start thinking about going on fourth down himself. Quite frankly, even the people saw it's the first half, first half. They're the underdog going in this thing. You've got to do something to spice your team up, in my opinion. Niehoff and Dardis over here on the wide side of the field. Jack Franke out at the top. Logan Dalton right next to Brown, to, just to his left. They send Franke in motion. Brown rolling right, stops. He has nowhere to go and he's dropped. But there's nowhere, like you said, there's nowhere to go. There's, that's just, it's just too easy. I mean, I mean, they're putting the blitz on, they can't, they can't block him up front. And the quarterback, poor young man, is running for his life right now. So that's a huge loss. The Comets are again going to have to go back into punting formation with 8-17 and counting to go here in the first half. What, what's the rule that started a couple years ago? Running clock at 30 points in the, in the second half. Yes, sir. Nice job of getting that ball off. All what a catch. Yeah. Great job of coming up and fielding that that. Low missling kick. They just got uh, Freddie Johnson grabbing what, that thing. What I'm impressed with Coach Bolden's team is they just got athletes that can play multiple positions and everywhere on the field, offensively and defensively. And he's had a great system in place for you know his what what's he been in now 13, 14 years. Right. The unbelievable. I mean, you're looking on the Coleraine sideline. I guarantee you on that team right now, you're looking at seven to ten Division One football players. And plenty of guys that'll be filling it up D2 and D3 squads as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. And it's, they, they just, uh, they got the whole package. Uh, it, it's uh, pretty impressive to watch. Smith Moore on oh, a quick hand. Oh, he kept it job. himself, and that's a great job. That's a nice read and react there by number 64 yeah. for the Comets. Keep competing. That's what Coach Cash was for. He want all your players to keep competing right now. That was a great job by Camden Wood, number 64. Knocking, actually, Cardinals for a one yard loss. And nice size there you see on the Coleraine offensive side. Yeah, 270, 240, 190. Right up the middle. They didn't see him. They got the quarterback wow. again. That's to the fullback. They just didn't see him. Quick, quick hitter right up the middle. And, he, and he, he's so short, they couldn't even see who had the ball. And he. Yeah, that was. 14, a, I think. Yeah, that was. Hamza Abdul Wahid, he's the second stringer. He's a 5'8 junior. Yeah, just watch him. Just watch the quick hitter here, folks. They don't know where he's at. They were all running by him. And he's going up uh, in. in, in uh, the defensive back position. That, that's a 5'8", 185-pound junior fullback, Mike. Pace back in there now. Pace gets it this time and drags. Tacklers, cuts back. Working his way behind his blocker and dives into the end zone. Ivan Pace, Jr. And you know what? Watching that, watching that that guy right there, that guy doing that, he looked, that looked like a, a college kid against a bunch of high school. He looked like a, a pure man out there. I mean, that unbelievable athleticism. And watch it, just the strength. Oh, too many comments are falling up from behind, but that's just a... That's demoralizing, I, and the coach, coaches over there at Coleraine are really happy. They, they're they putting their, uh, Coach Bolden said in the paper that he didn't think he'd put four quarters together this year, and they're putting the, their first half as awful dominating against a, a one-loss Mason team, Steve. That kick is up, and it's good, Mike. And, and you know what I like about Coach Bolden? Even on that drive, he's got subs coming in. Uh -huh. He's going down in, into his, I mean, we saw uh, Hamza Abdul Wahid you know, break off the 16 yarder himself. That's a, that's a number two fullback. Yeah, so. it, it's just uh, and again when you when you get up like this, good programs you, you can keep on uh, playing playing the backup second and third teamers, and they get, they get experience on the Friday night on the, on the road with against uh, another GMC team. 
So let's see if Chris Mengel is going to come out and make this kick, or maybe they're going to let Jack on. I'm sorry, Cameron not take take a shot here. Nope. It's still Chris Mengel. I'm sorry, Cameron not. He's going to be doing the place kicking number eight. We're going to be singing songs early in the second half. We're going to have some trivia questions for people. <laughs> Bring Both it back. Short kick. Bring it back. Again, McCormick he's coming good. up and fielding it. He's a good running back. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to see him get some more touches here tonight. He's, he's had a good year just a sophomore. He got knocked down just as he got over the 25-yard line. They're going to set up now, I believe, right at about the 28 where the comments will take over with 6.36 to go. Mike, and really, really important to go ahead and... and uh, yeah, see what you got. Coach Tim McDonald, the uh, offensive coordinator for the comments, see what he has up his sleeve. It's, you know, it's a challenge, we know that, but you've got to keep them, uh, players motivated as much as possible. Let's see if they go back to the run or, you know, try to... Throw the ball in the air a little bit. Again, try, just trying to sustain something. I mean, like we said, they, they've been partially successful here. Now, is that McCormick in there now? Or I, I couldn't tell, but not much running room. It's a great job, and look who's getting up. <laughs> Mr. Bolton's coming off out of that tackle. That was Logan Dalton on the run, I believe, but... Yeah, Mr. Bolden there on the hit. And again, I don't think even the high school don't don't think that people are going to look around the state and the city, and, the, and they're seeing a Mason team that's pretty good. And, the, 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 and Corey and coaches want to they're putting a hurt in arm right now. They want everybody else to know that he's not even open. He's getting held. Brown on the right side. But he was just all he had a guy in the flat the whole time. A defensive lineman was guarding. The guy in the, in, on the flats. That was that was impressive to watch. The guy about 280, 70 pounds of guard. Yeah, the, number, out in the flats. Number 99. That's Eric Phillips. 280. 6'4", 280. Yeah, 58. Who's 58? Oh, 58. That's our friend. Um, that's Dante Corleone. He was he was he was all over the the, the, the back and uh, just going in the flats. Six one two fifty. Yeah. Yeah. No what nowhere to throw. Brown for third and nine. Look at this. Goes back. Nice screen. Yeah. Bolden. McCormick, and look at Bolden Reed react and take the man down. Seven yard loss on the screen pass play. It's just, he just read it. He knew it. He can, nobody put a helmet on him and, and got the guy in the backfield. Luke Bolden with a. Look at that. Nice read react. And look at that. Boom. They had people up there. They would have had somebody get a helmet on him. He had some uh, set some space, but Mr. Bolden uh, showed why he's one of the most recruited uh, players in the area. Well, if you, if your last name's Bolden and you and you went to Cole Rain, yeah, you Look got at guys this. looking uh -oh. at the high snap. Dalton gets it off, but a short squeaker. He did a good job of just getting that ball. He had to jump over his head for the snap was high. So Cole Rain's going to take over with a 5:04 to go, Mike. At, uh, ooh, well, let's see where they finally stop. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, at about the 20. What was that? Six-yard line. We'll call it the 27. That must have went way out of bounds. Yep. So, let's see what Barrett Falk does. On the defensive side, trying to slow down Deontay Smith more in this Cardinal offense. Yeah, it's late it's, pitch. He's gonna cut it up. He's gonna cut it up. Yep. Nice job of squaring his shoulders and then just shooting it up the field. JJ Davis. Mr. Sipe on a good tackle. Stayed with the play. Again, but it's a first down. You know, J.J. Mike doesn't even look like he's running hard. He just looks like he's one of those guys that looks like he's just gliding along, yeah. along the top there. And then when he plants his outside foot and makes that cut and turns that thing up, 
That's where he looks vicious. I know Cole ran a couple games early this year. They, they struggled early because they were doing fumbles and interceptions. They stay away from the fumbles. They're, they're just a talented team. Look at this. Look and that's that. just Sincere too easy. Sincere Jones no. reaching for the goal line, and they're going to mark him out of bounds Sincere just Jones. shy of that corner yep. corner He's marker, Mike. Mark him right at the one. And we've seen, Mike, that big plays from a lot of different guys from the Cardinals, too. Well, they're all fresh. I mean, who doesn't like getting out there and have your line blocked like that? You're in open space most of the time. You just got to make people miss. And a couple of their guys, they've been running over people. So, you got to – what, timeout or what? Equipment problem on the sideline? No. I have no idea. Nobody's coming off. Coach Castor's talking with the referee. I, I don't know if they're doing a sideline warning. Coaches on the field too much, or they can't do that. Coach Bolt was just out midfield. I don't know what it was. That's unusual to stop it without. I think he might be saying uh, maybe somebody's chirping on the sideline a little bit. Well, they have it under control now. It's Deontay Smith Moore is under center. He's going to roll out and flip it. Yep. Right Bolden there. Look to in. Bolden. Luke Bolden comes in at tight end. And he goes out. What's he do? Gee, he just scores. Yeah, everybody's on the run, the run, run. Take the run. Three yard out, four yard out. And Mr. Bolden gets a touchdown pass. And I tell you what, that quarterback is an outstanding young man for Coleraine. He's got, he's got to be a player of the year and probably Cincinnati and uh, definitely the GMC as much as he throws the ball and runs the ball and, and runs their offense. Again, Mike, he's just he's under control. He sees the field really well. Man, did he deliver a nice ball. Uh, only Joe Bolton could catch that ball. Yeah, very impressive. The ball is down, the kick is up, and that kick is good from Cameron Ott. So, 35 to zip, Mike. We still got 4.08 to go here in the first uh, first half. We haven't had most of our games have been decent this year, partner, but this is uh, the old uh, butt whooping right now, and uh, Coleraine doesn't mind it at all because they, uh, they, want, they, want, they want everybody in the area to know how good they are. And, they're living up to their expectations, the number one team in the state. Well, hey, my number one and number two rated teams in on the Harbin rankings in, in this particular region, Region 4. And uh, you're right, they're making a statement, not only here in southwest Ohio, but all through the state saying, hey, look what we did to these guys. They're still talking to the, the officials. Pointing up to something, I don't know what they're doing. Either that or something's going on with the... Uh, Some of the team. Lightning? Oh, lightning. you got to be kidding me. It's lightning. So we got, we're going to be down for a half hour, folks, and uh, I see RC. I'll let you take it there, Steve, but it, it looks like they got lightning. <laughs> Well, Josh Shemstrot, hope you're ready for a good one, Josh and crew. We're going to kick, turn this thing down for a half hour, and uh, we'll come back and join you folks when we stop this delay, and we'll be right back.
retire like a champ, just like legendary basketball star Uncle Drew. Don't do it like that, Uncle Drew. You're already acing the game. You've got your dream ride. Don't be slamming my door. Sorry about that. We just did the nah. same. Gotta get the boys. Your dream vacation and your dream team. And now you can make your retirement just as legendary. I get buckets. Get the tips you need to get on track at aceyourretirement.org. We'd do anything for kids. Thanks for helping us. Yet one in six children in the U.S. struggle with hunger. Help end childhood hunger near you. Learn how at feedingamerica.org. What do you think you're doing, Kevin? I uh, was just gonna drive home. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, there are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. Like hearing voices? Like your text to emoji ratio? Oh man, the selfies. <laughs> selfies, nailed it. We all have warning signs that let us know that we're probably not okay to drive. Mine is pretending to be your subconscious. Craig, come on man, let's put a ride home. Opioid dependence can happen after just five days. Know the truth, spread the truth. Titans, go! When the Teen Titans go to the movies.
you guys have worked your tails off. You've earned this night. You've earned this opportunity.
across America, excess food is gathered by a network of good people at local food banks, helping solve child hunger. They've earned their wings, and you can too. Support Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. You made her college years possible, opening that education savings account when she was little, spearheading campus tours, and deciphering financial aid. If you can ace planning for college, you can do it for retirement. Get on track with tips at aceyourretirement.org.
Welcome back to Dwyer Field at Atrium Stadium where the Coleraine Cardinals lead the Mason Comets here at 35 to nothing. We had a weather delay with 4.08 left to go here in the first half, so we're going to pick the action back up here in about a minute. And Mike, I mean, if you're Coach Castor, you can only hope for the best here. Maybe try to get some points on the board with 4.08 left to go? Yeah, try to get some positive going. I mean, it's it's a, uh, they're taking a whipping right now. They ran into a buzzsaw. But what you want your team to progress to, because you got the rest of the year to think about, is how do they come back from this? How, how do they compete as individuals? And what have the coaches uh, at the break, a half-hour break, done to maybe change it up a little bit to give them better opportunities to be successful on the offensive side and from a defensive standpoint, how to stop this potent Coleraine Cardinals offense. That's the that's that's speak that's giving it to us mildly. Yeah, coach. They, uh, thirty-five to nothing here, and and again they were set to kick off here when they spotted a, I believe it was an OH OHSAA spotter spotted yeah, the uh, lightning, and you know again typically if you see lightning, uh, you have to evacuate the field at least for a half hour, and, and, and that's, you know, again, they had a half hour every time they see another lightning st strike, yeah. right, Mike? So hopefully we can uh, get through the rest of this because uh, they're going to have a, sh we're going to have a short time, uh, short half time break since they've been out a half hour, and then with the new rules in football, you'll have a running clock the whole second half unless the Comets can score. Cameron not back to kick for the Cardinals. That's ruined Franke deep. And again, he puts up one of those mid-range kicks. Looks like McCormick comes up and fields. He's knocked off his feet at about the 28-yard line. That's where the Comets will start with 4.03 to go here in the first half. Again, we, we said before, it's not like they're running all over Colerain, but they had some positive run, run uh, times where they've gotten into trouble tonight. The Comets, every time they've put their back to the defensive line, they've, they've gone all the way, and uh, the quarterback's been harassed all night, for lack of better terms. I mean... Poor guy, poor guy's been running for his life. Yeah, Colin Brown just basically has is, is got, not gotten much time. We've seen two sacks. We know that Mike did total at least 30 yards. Brown, behind the center, gives it off to Dalton. Dalton runs straight into Dan Luke Bolden, and Luke Bolden just catches him at the line of scrimmage and drives him back. And, and what, what's fun about uh, Correa is just watching the play, Steve. It's, it's, it's not one guy or two guys like you said. There's three or four guys making tackles around the football at all times. And, and, and uh, it's fun to watch. They really fly to the football. Second and nine. Because they'll give Logan Dalton one yard on that carry. Brown. Again, Dalton following his lead blocking gets up to about the 35 yard line, and there he's leveled. Nice little run there, though. Picked up about six yards on that one. Little gap in the hole there. Deshaun Pace, the strong safety, comes up to knock him off his feet just as he crosses the 35. That'll be third and three. Pace comes out to match up with Nick. They're coming again. Off. Look at it. They're just bringing it right up the middle. He's wow. And Dalton, as soon as he gets that handoff, the Bolden. is Luke Bolden right in his back pocket. He did a great job of shaking off Luke Bolden, but he gets knocked down yeah, for maybe a half a yard loss, Mike. So it's going to be fourth and three. They call timeout. That's uh, a little unusual. Yeah, yeah, Colerain called the timeout, a little unusual. I don't know if they think they're going to fake it or, or what. Colerain called timeout. It was time to score, score I guess. In the... that's, uh, I'm not going to lie to you, that's a little unusual. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's typically not must have been something with an assignment or somebody got nicked or something, but you know, again, you normally don't know if Coach Bolden over there 
and trying to rub his opponent's noses in. He's more, more of a guy that you'll see a lot. You'll see him expand his depth chart yeah. in the second half. Just might have been, they might have been playing safe, you know, the way, way you thought Mason might want to go for it. But fourth down and one, and Mason's been punt formation. Last time, they had a high snap. They only got like a 10 yard punt. Um, see if they get a better one this time. Sincere Jones out there. And there's that low driving kick that Jones will yeah, nice. let go. Don't touch it. Don't even touch it. Don't even touch it. Jones Jason. will back up and it'll go out of bounds inside the Coleraine 25 yard line where they'll take over with 240 left to go here in the first half. The 24 yard line. You pick your poison. The comments, you know, they've, they've done, you know, Coleraine's been doing whatever they wanted. They've passed the ball, they've, they've run the ball. A couple different guys have scored. <laughs> Um, so, you know, if you're the Comets, pick your poison. You put a lot of people in the box, they can still throw over the top of you. If you play conservatively, uh, they can just run the ball down your throat. Yeah, and again, Mike, they, you know, <clears throat> been doing a good, a, a decent enough job in between the tackles. It's just when the Coleraine runners get the edge, yeah. man, they're gone. Too many, too many explosive big plays. Deontay Smith Moore inside handoff to Ivan Pace Jr. Ivan Pace drags that pile with him for about four until he's finally knocked back. Jay Orlando on the stop for the Mason Comets. Yeah. His, name, his name's been called out a couple of times from the defensive side of the ball. Cardinals taking their time coming to the line. Smith Moore. Sends Jones in motion, inside handoff. Good job of stacking up. Ivan Pace Jr. Charlie Sipe in there, knocking him off his feet. That'll yep. set up a uh, third and about three. Another nice tackle up the middle there. Brings up third and three. And that, a couple times tonight, they've had a chance on fourth down and a couple third downs. They haven't been able to get off the field, the defense. so. And this is where they usually suck you, in, suck you in the middle and the quarterback pulls it out and they go out to the out wide on this. Like I said, yeah, the out jet wide. sweep. They're holding. You're going to call hold. Good job of getting out to the outside there by. Is that the. Is that the oh, no, we've had one other penalty. I think that's the second penalty of the night as well. Pretty uh, clean game. J.J. Davis was working on that side. So they'll march him back in the 10 yard. 10 yards set him up at the 23 where it's going to be third and about 13. Break for the comments there and see if they can uh, put a stop and make the, uh, so we can take a look at the Col Colrain punter. Haven't seen him all tonight. Smith Moore in the shotgun, steps back, looking, 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 fires a dart down the middle of the field. There was, Boy, did he thread that mic amongst three defenders? He, he did, and two offensive guys. He, there was a bunch of people around there. Nobody from Mason could find the football. And again, he, he, he throws a 20-yard pass right, right down the middle of the field. That was an absolute dart that he shot down there to Freddie Johnson. Freddie did a great job of working to the open spot of the field. And that's what a good football team does. You know where your guy's going to be when you, when you got a zone dropping back. Very like small that. window. Smith Moore. Oh, there's good job of getting that big mid up that time by Chase Evans. Chase is keeping us on our toes yeah. this year, Mike. I think that's about the third jersey number he's had this year. So that'll set up a second and ten with 55 seconds to go here in the first half. Again, it, as you're as potent running game as they have in passing game, you, you can't say this is a passing situation. This could be, easily be a run. They still have two timeouts left. Ooh. Oh, and he did a good job of getting getting it out there, but Mike Sincere didn't look like he was uh, 
He didn't have his head turned around. Yeah, too excited to come out of his break and catch that ball. Timing was not there on that one, but, it, but it, uh, for the Comets, they had some pressure uh, on the quarterback, so he got rid of it pretty quickly. Yeah, Sincere Jones, when he came out of that break, though, Mike, you know, typically you know when a guy's expecting the ball because when he comes out of his break, his elbows are above his, above his numbers. And that time, he just came out and just threw a hand up at it. Third and ten. Oh, he's going to oh, look at that. The sea's open. And here goes Deontay Smith-Moore. Pump fake to freeze the backers. Pulls it down. And that's what you said, Mike. He's just as dangerous with his feet. Yeah, but they had good coverage in the backfield there. But there was no spy. So with his speed and athleticism, he just takes it up the middle. And he didn't get touched for 30 yards. And uh, somebody from the... The quarterback did a good job of tackling from behind because I thought he was going to take it to the house. First down and 10 from inside the 25-yard line. Clock's running under 30 seconds. Smith Moore comes back, but they'll go Time ahead. Out. No offense movement. So they are human. <laughs> yeah, they've, they've been on a roll right now, but it's a uh, quarterback. I'm just telling you, high school, it, there it is. Movement in the offense. But again, when you have a quarterback that can throw the ball, you can hit, and you got three or four other weapons in the back of the running ball, and he can run the football, man, that's a three-headed monster. That's, that, that's uh, impressive. So they'll back him up 10. It's going to be first and, or five, first and 15. Throw Smith it. Moore looking, looking, looking. Now he pulls it down again. He's past the line oh, of scrimmage. Great was he job. past the line of scrimmage? I don't think he was, Coach, but we'll see. That's what Kastner's saying. He's past the line of scrimmage. I'm telling you, he's past the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they were looking at the 10 yard marker. Yeah, he was five yards past it. Let's see if we got that on replay. That's why I just noticed him up here, but I'm, I've been wrong before. But still a heck of a play. He's kept his eyes downfield, so. Yeah, and they're not even, there's there's no discussion. No, they can't. I mean, it's not replay. There's not that. Nobody's going to call. It's not Cameron like. Cameron Ott in. Hold us down. Kick is up. And the kick is good. So where, where were they at? 30? Uh, uh, no, he's past well, the 30, though. Yeah, he, he was it. past the 30. And that's where they were at. Yeah. That's where the driver originally started. That's what I think confused the referees, Mike. Yeah. After the five-yard penalty, he was still looking at the first down. He's going to get something here. Brian Kastner's going to get something now? Yeah, he's going to get a warning or something. They're just asking them to call, talk to him about why he wouldn't pass the line of scrimmage. And Brian Castor is asking for an explanation with five seconds to go, Brian. Cameron Ott for the kickoff here. He, he, he's adamant about it. I mean, it looked like it from up here, but again, you, you know, you're, you're frustrated with your team, you're frustrated with that, you're frustrated with everybody, but still, the official is, uh, he said he, he thinks that Miss a call. Hopefully, somebody has a better view of that. Timeout, Mason. So he's going to take a timeout to at least get his money's worth. And again, no instant replay, obviously, in high school. He's just trying to make a point there. Well, I mean, it was painfully obvious. I mean, you. You and I both thought about it. Yeah. I mean, Deontay Smith Moore pulled that thing down, Mike, and he looked like, you know, he was he was all set, dead set to here, go. Here. Let's see if we got it here. So yeah, the, so. they're at the thirty. Yeah, he's past the line because they, they they were at the twenty six and they had it back. Show that again, guys. Can you show that again? If they can, and again, we're not picking on the referees. They do a great job. What watch with across the line here. Watch this. What yard line are they on? 30, 31, 30 yard line right there, 29 yard line. Watch where he throws it. Keep going, keep going. He's past the line of scrimmage right now. He's past the line of scrimmage by a yard. Over a yard, over a yard now, yeah. by a yard and a half. So he, again, 
but you just you still got to fight for your team. But he was past the line of scrimmage, the quarterback. Well, it was obvious. I mean, you know, when, when it's right in front of you, it's obvious. Of course it is. So that, they're going to go with a squib kick. That's why I said that. Picked up. I've never been wrong up here. I'm undefeated. <laughs> but, but, but Coach Cashman was right there on it, too. And so it's not going to make him feel any better. Uh, but that's a halftime, and we're going to take a, a small break, I think, here. But uh, they haven't told us how small of a break. Well, folks, kick back, grab a cool beverage. Or are they going to just go ahead and go from here? They may just end up going from here. back folks it looks like that both coaching staffs have agreed that since they're going to be running with a running clock here except on the change of possessions right that they'll go ahead and since they already had that 30 minute weather delay prior to the end of that first half that they're just going to go ahead and tee it up and, and go right now so they had a couple of minutes to have a, a discussion with the referees and the referees don't get it get a break either of course they have the half hour weather delay as well so we're going to crank it right up here they got to switch hands here a little bit and the running clock like you said and change of possession i think it's a very very good rule um, for football um, also basketball has a similar rule nowadays too but uh, when you have mismatches like this it doesn't do anybody any good for for uh you know to to get uh, blown out by 50 60 points so uh, Corain's a dominant team, though, that first half. And Coach, we, Steve, we've been doing this for years. One of the most impressive uh, halves I've seen offensively from a team that I, I can recall in years, quite frankly. Well, Mike, you know, I mean, you know, every now and then we get that rare kickoff return. Yeah. We, never, we never opened a game with it, however. But for the first two offensive possessions to be long touchdowns, that, that's something pretty special. All right, the kick is on the ground. There's a comic that's working his way outside. Good job of spinning that way through by number 35 for the comic. Yep. Of course, Ivan Pace Jr. on the stop as that guy's all over the all over the field. Iverson borders with that run back. Yeah, I think he's just a sophomore too, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. He plays a lot of JV, good running back on the JV team and uh, shows, shows some speed there, but the Corrine just has too much. But, you know, Comet's going to start on the, what do they got, penalty? Yeah, they're going to march him back. Hold it. I'm going to say a block in the back. Nice job. And young Mr. Borders spinning his way out of a couple of tackles. So the Comet's going to set up just outside of their own 15. Colin Brown. Hands it off. Bouncing his way up. inside is McCormick, and he's finally knocked down it's by Luke Bolden. Yeah, a little hold there. He's a shifty running back. He's stronger than he looks. Again, he's only a sophomore also, too, so uh, the Commons are looking forward to having him around a couple more years, quite frankly. Um, and then uh, uh, some positive uh, yards on that one. He got about four yards on that one. Yeah, so we'll call it uh, second and a long five. Brown under center. Good job of McCormick again working that outside, leaning forward and good for a common first down. He's finally knocked down by Luke Bolden as he gets over the 30-yard line. Right, but you know what I saw, see on this series so far? A couple of the offensive linemen are, are staying with their blocks. 
and, they're, and they, they keep on firing out. So this is nice. Watch this. You, know, you got some green guys, green shirts. They're getting people downfield. He's not getting touched until he gets downfield. And that's Mr. Bolden again in the middle, but his helmet comes off, so he has to go out for that one play. When you lose a helmet, take the helmet comes off. You've got to go out for one play. Brown under center now. Takes over to the sideline. Is that, 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 that left that side, yeah. they're attacking it. That's good. Is that McCormick or Dalton that time? Looks like McCormick is. Okay, so it's, so it's McCormick's turn. Yep. Another four or five yards, five to six yards. That's very good. Maybe they found something on that left side of the Comets offensive line. Guys are firing off the ball a little bit here. Again, your pride ste steps in here, partner. You know, that you, that's what you want for Coach Gatcher. Keep battling, keep battling, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it'll be over quick, but we can put a few on. And they got to get two scores for that clock to stop, so. Yeah. Brown. McCormick again to the right side, busts through. Short. Gets up close. Did he fumble? They're gonna, yeah, they're going to no, call down. They're say he, was he was down. down. Yeah, but I tell you what, Mike, he's fighting hard for every yard he's got. He leaned up to, to right about the 40-yard line where it's going to set up a second and short, uh, third and short. Again, if you cook, Caster, I don't, I don't know how you play it anymore when you're down this much. I don't know if it's four-down territory. I would just... I would keep it four down territory to keep on battling. Again, we're in a running clock situation, folks. The only time the clock will stop is on change of possession. Look at Virgo. Boy, they're sending the house, too. Inside handoff and nowhere to go. They don't, like I said, they're taking pride. Coran, I, I we talked about tonight, Steve. They've given up nine points in four games in the league. Nine. And it's uh, it's phenomenal, and they 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 were bringing eight guys on that the run blitz. Josh Orlando tried to work his way in there, he had nowhere to go. So fourth and one, Commons are going to punt as Logan Dalton's back, Sincere Jones back deep for the Cardinals, and they're moving they're keeping moving him up and saying, "Come over here to the right." As Dalton's one of those sprint type kickers. And he angles it towards the sideline, and it goes out of bounds inside the 45. And they'll mark it right at the 41-yard line. Yeah. That's uh, well, one way we've had, he's, he's punted. We've had side punt this year, a couple things. And the punting uh, has been better than in the past games we've seen. So, uh, Coleraine, we've got to stop a possession here, and Coleraine gets the ball again. And, uh, Coach Bolden, this is where, he, you know, a lot of times he places his players, but, but he'll start rotating some you know, new, fresh running backs in there and, and even a, uh, down the road. Uh, uh, Freddie Johnson, number 28, is in a quarterback yep. right now, Mike. That's so. what I mean. So he does a good job. He gets people prepared for Friday night football. But they'll still play hard. You better stay on top of them. Inside handoff. Not much going as the comments do a good job of stacking them up right there. And uh, Abdul Wahid, the ball carrier. That was Abdul Wahid yep. carrying the ball that time. He's knocked off his feet by number 64, Camden Wood. Wood. Second, down eight. Second and eight. It's Johnson under center. Since Jones in motion, that's an inside handoff again. Great, great. They jammed him up, and they're, they're, they're just peeking. They're holding their ground on that one. But the defensive line. Also number 15 again, the comments went in there. Yeah. That's Molinari. Yeah, he, he really flew in there. Anthony Molinari that grabs on to Abdul Rahim and doesn't let him go anywhere. So we're going to set up a third and about seven. And, and what we've seen a lot of times here in the past is they keep on running the middle, middle. Then this is when they pull it out and try to go that jet sweep or pitch it out wide and yeah, see what they do. Well, we know Freddie can get outsides too, so... They just might keep the running clock right up the middle. Yep, they do. Yeah, they get some of it, but that's a great job of coming up and, and pinning his ears back and making a nice tackle by Casey Miller. So that'll, that'll be fourth, fourth down, two. about three. We'll see a punt, maybe. Stop it. Stop it. Lawson Sandusky. Number 17, a junior punter, is back for the Coleraine 
Cardinals. They're smart on this, just letting the clock go down a little bit. Nice oh, punt. Lord wow. have mercy. Wow, and Sandusky uncorks an yeah. absolute bomb, Mike, as, as that is. Wow. He got all of 52 yards on that bad boy. <laughs> You're fresh when you have to punt the ball one time. His, his, <laughs> his leg is fresh. <laughs> it's not only fresh, it was fully loaded, pal. Yeah, that was a bomb. Yeah. For a high school punter, that was a bomb. <laughs> Oh boy, that was a big one. Yeah, I think back there to a return that thing was, I don't believe that was, I believe that was Alec Dardis, number 18. He just watched that thing sail over he his put, head. Yeah, he put the hand up, so yeah, fair catch, and it was 30 yards over his head. He's like, okay, so Colin Brown, under center. Oh. Logan Dalton gets met in the middle by a number of not very friendly, Coleraine players. They're kind of, they're kind of wearing out that left side now. That's about five, six straight plays. Left to the left, so. And I'm telling you what, number 58 was in there thumping heads again. Dante Corleone. Yeah, I, I, we don't have that information. It'd be interesting to know on this Coleraine team how many young men have committed to play college football at any level. And how many, I don't even know, uh, look at the roster, I don't even know how many are the seniors, actually. Well, they got a nice mix. Brown with a fake inside, stops, delivers the ball, downfield! Pass interference. Yeah, and they're going to say Alec Dardis was being mugged, absolutely mugged. Number four, yeah, was, he didn't find the ball quick enough. That's Alondro Kendricks who was guarding him, and Kendricks basically had his hands on him as Dardis came out of his break. Right. So Comets get a nice little bonus right there as the clock continues to run at the four minute mark of the third quarter. So we got a replay here, kind of do a skinny post. He got pressure, the quarterback went out, it got held, Mason player crapped. A cool ring player, they didn't call that. But right here, he just, he just pushed him right there. That should have been a catch, but uh, easy call by the official. Brown now back in the shotgun. Looking, looking, looking. Oh, and he throws it. What, it, like, what are you doing? Yeah, I believe number eight is going to be look at Coach Bolden. out no. of the contest. No, look at Coach Bolden. That, that, that is on. He's on the field. He he will not trust me ever. Shikari Patterson, who had that ball bounce right, hit him right in the wrong spot in the hands. And Shikari, maybe that's why you're playing defense. That's not that. But he didn't like. He took his helmet off. Coach Bolden's getting in his face and just said, "Hey, you do it this way. That's unacceptable." Um, which it is. So they're going to back, comments are going to back up the, the Cardinals a little bit. The clock is going to continue to run, however. 15 yards. Yeah, that'll be 15. He's, he, I see the young man, you know, it's high school, college, just high school, he's made a mistake. He's walking with, he's getting, he's, get, he's getting far away from the coaching staff as possible. But he just, bad, he just threw it right to him. Yeah, I mean, Dardis was not in the spot he was supposed to be in, yeah. Just a little bit upset. That's all right, you young man. Just keep working at it. You get better. A little anger management issues, though. So Mason gets another first down on a penalty. I mean, Jakari's a senior. He should know better. He knows that. Coach Bolden, excellent job. He relates to his kids. And he'll fix that. Brown from midfield. Drops back. He's got pressure. He steps up through the pressure. He's got a lane, and he's going to go up. And finally slide down close to the 31-yard line, Colin Brown. Good play. Kept, kept his eyes downfield. I like that. Did a little pump fake at the line of scrimmage. Uh, and uh, and Colerain, Colerain defender fell down. So just watch this. He, he, he's a good athlete. He just he, he, he took this down fast. And, I mean, he could pick it up and get it down. He's running away from people right there. Smart thing. Get a little slide. Can't get out of bounds. Slide it. 
live to fight another day. Huge, huge thing for the Comets. They homecoming in their home field. You do not want to get shut out. No Ivan Pace Jr., no Luke Bolden, no Mike Best out there though, Mike. Nope, no, no, they don't, you know, look at this. Three guys are meeting at the quarterback again though. It just, it just, um, yeah, Bess was in there, but they got him. Yeah, he was stunting that time. So knock Brown down for about a seven, eight yard loss. That'll set up a second, about 17. Mr. Sipe over there, number 42. He had a game winner against Sycamore about 42 yards, so he has a strong leg. He's over there kicking in the net. Wanting a chance to maybe put some points on the board, but I know the offense wants to score a touchdown. McMillan, or I'm sorry, good job of working his way there to the left. 33 yards. This would be a 50 yarder. What's Coach Castle going to do? Nolan McCormick. They've been trying to beat that left side, but I think Corey. Oh, yeah, a little to the right there as we've got a little hold here on number 80 on Mason. Yeah, Chase Evans in there playing fullback, and that was McCormick trying to follow him through a hole. I've been a part of this. The referees really do a good job. They're trying to not, uh, you know, they don't want to be calling everything here, especially with the blowout like he got. So fourth quarter, Mason has it, uh, what, third and 12? Yeah, it's going to be third and about 12. And, and you know. it was it fourth? I thought it was fourth. No, that's third down. Okay. Third down. And you got to be impressed. Folks, our cable cast replay times. Let's blast them up real quick. Tell all your friends at Cole Rain they want to watch this one again. They want to see a, a pretty tough team. They've seen it all year. Those folks there, are, uh, especially when you play at home, over there, they all come. The West Siders over there come out all the time, and they know what. How, team is they got there this year. I mean, it's been an outstanding team. Um, and, and I can't, Colerain, I don't think they have anybody else on their schedule until the playoffs that can get near them. Hey, Mike, uh, Josh Semps, Rod is our producer director tonight. Nate Campana, Campana is working the uh, audio and the replay graphics on Daniel Wysong. Josh Semps, Rod, of course, doing the engineering. And then, uh, just lost my graphic here. Let's see who's... Uh, Guys doing a great job. Got some great replays and got things going on well. Ejuanio Villarreal working the camera as well as Adia Diag, Kyle Evans, and Max Schaller. Right, here we go. Third and 12. We'll see what they come up with there. You want to pick up five or six to get it more manageable for fourth down. Right up the middle. McCormick go. with a great job. Busting it outside. McCormick has one guy to beat, and what a sure-handed tackle by number 10 for Cole Rain. But he's going to be short by about a half a yard, I think. Fourth down. Jaquan nice. Jackson with a nice tackle in the open field on McCormick. A lot of times tonight when Mason, watch the run here. Offensive line did a good job, but watch him break out of this. Good blocking, missed tackle there, but I mean, watch as he pops it out pretty quick. Nice athlete. Logan Dalton coming in. It's his turn. Yeah, but a lot of times they, they've been given to that fullback right up the, that, They've been given to that, the short guy, the fullback, real quick all night. Let's see if they stay with that. Or, Cole Rain's way inside. I think they can even pop one outside, quite frankly. Yeah, Cole Rain's cheating up and pinching on it. Orlando takes it inside, puts his shoulders down, leans forward for a Comet first down if they if we get yeah wow, look, at, look that. at him just ripping through Jackson Orlando gets inside the 15 yard line. See, I like that. You gotta like that as a coach, the young man's battling. He's been battling all night. He's not giving up. He's I don't he don't care who's uh, on the defensive side, but he's just trying to get uh, points for his team and he's he's good effort on that run. Yeah, just a sophomore Jackson Orlando doing a great job of mixing it up in there. Working there at fullback, Brown pulls it back, looks, looks back to the sideline. Logan Dalton on the right-hand side. Logan Dalton in for the Comets score. Good job. It's against the second team of uh, Corain, like you said, but that's still some positive runs uh, for the Comets. 
again, Mike, that, that's going to lift his spirits, but more importantly, give him something positive to build on because, you know, everybody's going to look at the scoreboard tomorrow and say, wow, Colerain put it to him, but the comments never gave up. Nope, nope. I think we're going to see the head coach, Brian Kastner, have his team go down at the end and do it with, with uh, play as hard as you can with dignity and play as hard as you can. Charlie's, Charles Seib kicks that ball up and good, he's got good for the leg. extra point. He's got, he's got good leg. You know, for a big guy. Watch, watch this run. That's a broken tackle. Those were just a couple guys that didn't wrap up and pull rain. So the running back ran through it. So now we, we, we will have the clock stop here for a little bit, Mike, until Colerain gets the ball and kick off. Yeah, we'll see what happens here on this again, one. Again, it's still, uh, still uh, over a 30-point lead, so the clock will continue to run. Sype going to tee it up right there at the 40. Sipe with a nice deep kick. Drives Mason back. Oh, and there's a nice return. That young man's doing a great job of fighting his way forward. Yep. So Colerain with the first and 10 at the 39. Again, once they set the ball down, they'll crank the clock on the snap. And here you're just getting your, your backups. Coach Bolton getting them a lot of experience on Friday night. Yeah, Freddie Johnson's still in there at quarterback. Looking for an inside handoff, and boy, that's a great job. As Hamza Abdul-Wahid tries to work up the middle, and he's slammed for a loss. Yep, just big a, loss. Yeah, it's a big, like I said, difference. They're getting a lot of their subs in. I call them almost some of the JV players that we play tomorrow too. Is is uh, getting them experience and come with uh, at least we're battling right now. Here's what we got going on here. We got we got a, third, a second and about 16. Yeah, I mean that's, that was great momentum for the Comets. Freddie Johnson under center He's keeps, it, himself. keeps it himself. Oh, Freddie, you can't stop there, buddy. Oh, look at this. Yeah, Makes and there's players. yeah, there's some stuff going on and a little frustration by the Mason player as he was being double teamed, number 64. I think he's gonna call them both of them. And you know, Mike, there's. No room for that in high school football, guys. I think that Mason, he, he was getting double teamed pretty good on that one. They, they took him down. See what, yeah, Camden Wood. It's going to be both of them. Look at them. He's going to call them both of them and offset it. Personal foul, Thomas. Unsportsmanlike conduct, Cole Ray. Penalties offset. Third down. Third down. Third down. And yeah, they're, they're gonna they're gonna give him a couple yards on that. Third and fourteen. Again, clock continues to run. Yeah, we don't need any frustration. Penalties are by either team here late in the game. Movement. Penalty by Paul Stark, Colerain. Yes, the man went in motion, number 19. We'll make a third down, 19. So they'll move him back another five, it'll be third and 19. Again, clock continues to run. We're under seven minutes to go here. Well. We would have been out here real quick if we didn't have that half hour lightning delay.
Johnson under center. He gives it to the Jet Man on the outside, looking for an edge and nowhere to go as the Comets do a good job of, of stretching that thing out. Keeps him well short of the of a first down. Uh, is Coleraine going to go ahead and punt? Yeah, they'll punt. Shoot. Uh, fourth and about 15. Yeah, the way he punted the other one, I mean, I'd, I'd be back about 50 yards. Yeah, it's Lawson Sandusky. 5'10", 175, Junior. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He blasted a 54-yarder before. Nick Niehoff, Alec Dardis back for the Comets. Low snap. Not, and, not and nearly as good because that snap got him. It yeah, got out of bounds. That's it a, goes out of bounds just inside the 45-yard line, and that's where the Comets will take over. Clock will start running on the first snap with 5.50 to go here in the contest. I'm kind of looking around to see if the Comets are going to be putting any quarterback change or running back just to get some more experience. Let's see what they got going here. Uh, yeah, it looks like quarterback. They, uh, yeah, quarterback. Colin Brown's still in there, but it looks like they're putting a, a couple of different... Yeah, I'll, there's a different fullback in there now. Yeah. And inside handoff, Logan Dalton working his way, trying to work his way around that edge, finds the sledding a little bit tough. That'll set up uh, second down and about seven. Coming up the left side here again. That's a nice run. Yeah. Malcolm Morris is in there running at fullback, number 98. Keep on running that left side. Yeah, Morris doing a good job as a lead blocker. Dalton leaning forward to get That's another just flag. a little Somebody bit from shy. McCormick holding. Hector Lopez makes the stop. I'm sorry, that was yeah, McCormick on the run. Yeah, that was a hold. Holding Mason. With any yard spot penalty. So okay, here we go again now. They'll back them up for every every yard they get, Mike. <laughs> they find a way to take a few back. Harrison Borchers checking into the contest, number 35. Let's see if he'll be running at Terrell back now. Coach Catcher. Like Coach Catcher. What's happening? They're getting a little chippy. Mason's getting getting it handed to him. A couple of their guys are getting chippy. Out, and, he, and Coach Castor wants to put a halt to it right now. And he's replacing somebody, one of the players. Good job by Coach Kastner of, of calming his players down there. And again, Mike, you don't want to see you know, any bad blood between these two squads. And you never know, you know, they might meet each other sometime further down the road, you know, they, they face each other at least once a year, but. Yeah, they got uh, the way projections, you know how they go, and anything can change the rest of the year. Going into the uh, end of the year, they got the Comets coming in about fifth in the Harbor. They they got Milford at four, they'd be playing each other. And then you got like a uh, Coleraine. And I think they had the point you know, a, a St. X team, if they can get to five wins, and St. X might be the eighth seed. What, what a tough team to play in the opening round from a poor range standpoint. But it's, uh, uh, I, 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 unless something happens to the Comet, they should be in the playoffs again, though. Brown gives it to Borchers, doing a good job of trying to work his way up through the middle, gets over the 40 yard line. Iris and Borders, the ball carrier for the Comets. Sorry, Iris and, and Borders for a young guy, Mike. He's, Getting his nose right in there. No, he does. He's a good, good. Uh, he played some basketball and uh, 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 some football and stuff like that. He got to get a little stronger, uh, but he's got some good athleticism in him. You know, some speed and catch the ball too. He's back on punt returns, and nice kickoff set. returns. Yeah, nice set of wheels since we saw him on that one kickoff return. Weave his way through. There's a nice run. There he goes. There he goes again. 
But that, I mean, he, he has that burst. He has another gear. In the Cardinal territory, the 48-yard line. 48-yard line, that's going to set up a uh, third and about yeah, him third and and about three. Might as well go for it. Oh, absolutely. Him and McCormick are both sophomores. Fourth down three, Mason. Nope, they're going to go Fourth ahead and down. kick it, yeah. Well, again, he, what, what he's saying to Coach Bolton, that we respect you, you guys did it. Uh, we're just going to punt the ball and not worry about anything else. And I wouldn't doubt if Coach uh, Bolden runs one more play and almost kneels it. But uh, again, that's what that's what you do. And you know, every, all these other people will say, "Well, why are you going for it? You're down by so many. You're out of respect for the other team. Like, you know, you beat us pretty good. We'll uh, just kick one down there and don't touch it. They shouldn't touch us. That's where you're, you're playing. You don't even want to touch the ball until the referee blows it dead. But 2:29 left to go in the game. 42-7. It's been a dominant performance by Coleraine. Comet's got to pop back, and uh, uh, my mind just went blank. Where are they at next week? Do you know? They must be at uh, Middletown, maybe? I, I believe so, yes, sir. They got Middletown, and I think that then the senior night, they got Princeton, and they still then they end up going to uh, somewhere else. Yeah, we'll be back here Fairfield. in two weeks to do the Princeton game, and that Fairfield game will be key, Mike. Fairfield, they got them going, winning, winning, only losing one more game, and they got them basically the third seed. Uh, Fairfield's a very, very high potent offensive team too, uh, uh, so, so so that's a challenge. So Comets just gotta you know try, try to find a win next week and get back on track, and I think they'll be good for the playoffs. I think we might have the JV quarterback in for Cole Rain as number 15 makes that handoff, and it goes inside. Yeah, it's Martin. On the carry for the Cardinals. Kyle Bryan makes the stop for the college. A little replay, just a handoff. Straight up the middle. So we'll go ahead and line them back up here and inside handoff. Yeah, they'll just keep on going and 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 for the most part you don't even have to uh, uh, that's Johnson. sophomore Tyler Prather in there running the quarterback oh, now, Mike. Yeah, like I said, it, so a lot, a lot of JV players now getting in some of their time on Friday night. Well, Col Colerain's been so dominant this year, Steve. We haven't talked about that. A lot of their stats by their starters would be a lot, lot more yardage and passing plays and running yards if they're in the game. They don't, they don't play more than three quarters most of the time, except a couple of games early on. They're, they're sitting on the sidelines. Prather keeps it himself, looking for that edge. Good job of the Comets of containing money outside, but he does get ahead for a first down. We might get one more in, Coach. Yeah, he just done wait a little bit. 25 second clock's not even going. I, I just let everybody sit up, set, let him start the 25 second clock. And they're going to go ahead and go into the the genuflect formation. It looks like as they're in they're Whoa. in safety mode. Yeah. All right. Well, Coleraine Mike goes to seven and zero. Oh. Very outstanding team. Um, I, I I I thought it was going to be a. Uh, a closer battle. I ain't gonna lie to you, but Coach Kastner and his team were just outmanned. Uh, every position, uh, but again, it's only one loss. Good thing about uh, uh, high school football—you got a game next week, partner, and you got to come back out and recoup. Uh, Coleraine's beaten a lot of good teams this year badly, and they they beat another good team by Mason. So let's see if Mason can pop back next week and come up with a victory on the road. And, and just watch this Coleraine team, folks. I think you're looking at uh, the top team in the state of Ohio right now. For our producer director, Josh Semsrod. And for my partner, Mike Crotty, this is Steve Parker saying thanks for coming out and watching us tonight, folks, where the Coleraine Cardinals are victorious over Mason, 42-7. And we'll catch you next time here on ICRC Sports Friday Night Football. Good night, everyone.